Hello everyone, you're watching Vec. With the end of series 29 fast approaching, we now have updates on the new upcoming series 30 that includes a few new cars, including one that will join an already incredible lineup, and one that has been speculated at for a bit now. Not only that, we have a new game mode as well. Before we get to the update, hit that sub button to be notified when new videos are out, including upcoming news, updates, builds, and gameplay. First, we're going through the season rewards. At 50%, again, we have the backstage pass, enabling us to use a pass to obtain hard to find and rare cards through the voting system. And at 80%, we have the Fiat Dino 2.4 Coupe. Continue with summer by completing the trial Christmas barbecue, we have the hard to find car, the HSV GTSR. Auction House has said this is the third time we've seen this car, with the last two being series 20. 25 and 28 with a 50% completion. Now, moving on to our first new exclusive of the series, the Fiat X19, available by completing a Barth on the Hearth. We last saw the Fiat X19 in Motorsport 7 and Horizon 3. It lost a few performance points this time around. In Horizon 3, it had a PI of D159. Now it will start with a PI of D127. Stock, it will come with a 1.3 liter naturally aspirated inline four with 61 base horsepower, 67 foot pounds of torque, and a four speed transmission. In autumn, we have a brand new car to the Hoonigan lineup, the wife of one Cam Block, Lucy Block's own ride, the Hoonigan Bronco. This one's a brand new car to both Horizon 4 and the Hoonigan lineup available by completing Cam Block and Roll. While we are yet to see the additions of both the Loki K5 Blazer, so far exclusive to Horizon 3, and the Hoonigan Commodore Ute, exclusive to Motorsport 7, we are getting the Hoonigan Bronco, possibly the Hoonigan exclusive to Horizon 4. Makes you wonder what will be the one-off Hoonigan exclusive exclusive to the upcoming motorsport and possibly the yet announced Horizon 5. It doesn't yet look like we're ever gonna get the Loki K5 Blazer or the Commodore Ute, so it looks like the Hoonigan Bronco will be Horizon 4's one-off. Now in winter, we have the one car we've seen a lot of chit-chat hearsay around about Twitter and Reddit, the much-anticipated Koenigsegg Jesko. The car will be available during everyone's favorite season in winter by winning the seasonal event, let it snow. The Jesko will come with a 5.0 liter twin turbo engine. The update gave us two Two separate brake horsepower figures of 1280 and a massive, massive 1600 brake horsepower. The update of course mentioned that this depended much on the fuel type. I imagine we will be getting that 1600 brake horsepower figure in the in-game version of the Jesco. We don't know the possible top speed yet, but with figures in the update going up to 270 miles per hour, I can only imagine clever tuners attempting to brake 300 miles per hour in the Jesco. As far as upgrade options, we will have to wait for release to see how those pan out. Last on the updates for winter, if you somehow missed out on one of the latest cars, you can once again obtain the Hennessy Velociraptor, the 6x6 car introduced in Series 28. So if you missed out on that and don't want to buy it from the auction house, here's your chance once again. Wrapping up the vehicle updates, in the spring we have the reintroduction of the Alfa Romeo 155, a car we last saw as a common vehicle in Horizon 3. Figures are likely to be the same as Horizon 3 with the car having a 2.0 liter tube charge in line 4, 187 brake horsepower and a 5 speed transmission with an all wheel drive. Now we move on to the next big thing to hit the Horizon Festival, the introduction of a new game mode called Super 7. This game mode will add playground style games and challenges that will involve much of we have now in terms of skills and danger signs, but in more out there and freestyle maps that will bring Horizon 4 much closer to that arcade approach to racing. While I am happy to see a new game mode introduced to Horizon and with the drag game mode being dead on arrival, my excitement is tamed and we've seen much of these style of playground games in other mediums such as GTA 5 Online and the most recently Dirt 5. If it will be as grandiose as GTA 5 or as fast paced as Dirt 5 is yet to be seen. Unfortunately what we did see in the update didn't do much to get me excited either. The maps were very simple and felt uninspired. We do seem to be getting the ability of creating our own maps to challenge other players, which is likely what Playground Games hopes to be the meat and potatoes of the new game mode. The mode itself does introduce a new story, much like we have now with Aisha's Taxi and the Drift Club, giving us 7 challenges earning us new and exclusive rewards as well. How this will make use of player maps are yet to be seen. The new game mode will be available starting December 8th. That is all for now with update 30. What are you excited for? Myself, I am looking forward to expanding my Hoonigan collection with the new Bronco and eager to build the Jesco. Are you excited for the Super 7? What do you think of the game mode? Will it bring newfound interest to the game if you already done everything? Or will this be a one and done for the rewards type of deal? Let me know down in the comments, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when new content is out. Take care of yourselves and each other, and as always, have a good one.